Hey everybody, I don't even know. Can you like see my hair? Can you see the background? All I can see is black. I can only see black. I swear I have a very beautiful beard head behind me. I wanted this video to be a vlog. You can probably tell from my silly accent that I'm from New Zealand, but I'm currently in the United Kingdom. And in New Zealand, you can't really go Halloween shopping because nobody gives a shit about just about any of the holidays in New Zealand, which is extremely disappointing and sucky and boring. You can get a bit of like plastic tat every October, but that's about it. Sweets wrapped to look like eyeballs, that sort of thing. It's not really like that big of a thing there. And also like it's springtime at Halloween, so it doesn't really work with the whole autumn theme. Anyway, I'm in Scotland at the moment and I know that they have some beautiful things for sale, like um, like really nice ornaments and things every Halloween. I've managed to pick some things up in the past when I've been here before. So I wanted to make, for the first time, a Halloween shopping vlog. But I guess perhaps I should have done it a wee bit earlier because despite the fact that it's only September, what do you think I found when I went to the shops? What the fuck is this? It's only September. It's everywhere. What the hell? Sort yourselves out. Ridiculous. There's like nothing. This is so depressing. Let's see what they have. Right, if it means I'll wait up. Yeah, I don't wait. No, it's not the fair one. Yeah. No. <laughs> These are cool. Cute, but not enough black. <laughs> Great. That's one of the biggest candles I've ever seen. Overwhelming pumpkin cinnamon smell. Ugh. Shadow boxes. Oh, these are great. Shelves. Okay, I'm getting distracted. This is okay. Oh, it's quite expensive. I feel like I've probably got enough candle holders. Is it weird that this looks kind of like Christmassy in a strange way? This isn't bad. It's almost good. What would I do with a platter that size. Oh, it's quite cheap. Don't know what I'd use it for, but I don't think that matters. Spiderweb ramekins. Well, it's quite sweet, actually. Better than coming away empty-handed. It's not bad, actually. Hmm, those are actually very cute. Ooh, not for that price. Also very cute. Actually, quite pretty. Nothing wrong with buying oneself a crown. Mm. Fucking Christmas bullshit already. Come on. I hate that. I hate how, like, Christmas shit always encroaches on Halloween. It's not even been Halloween yet. Oh, Guy Fawkes. There's, like, stuff to go. Christmas is dinner. It's like, it's a dinner at the end of the year. There's like bloody months to go. Anyway, I found myself really struggling to look for nice Halloween things, which is very sad. But I do think I found some things which are quite nice. So I will show you the things that I did manage to get. I mainly went to TK Maxx. We don't have that shop in New Zealand. I think it's called TJ Maxx in the United States, assuming it's the same place. But I've always found that they have the most lovely Halloween things. Like I've had some very classy things from them in the past. So I went there mostly and to a couple of other places to have a look. So I'll show you what I did find. I don't know if you can even see black on black. First thing I picked up was this glass. Sorry if the lighting's not very good. I have one light in this otherwise very dim room. So sorry if it's a bit, you know, rubbish looking. It's not plastic on there. This is a lovely black glass with proper like metal on it. I mean, it wasn't expensive or anything, but it looks really good, quite classy. And I kind of regret not getting more of these because I actually really, really like it. On another separate journey out, we're looking for more of these. There were none left anywhere, so I found these ones. Ding! Oh, they're, they're still nice. They're still cool. They're very heavy. They're quite weighty, you know. They're, they are, again, black glass with these wonderful metal silver skeleton hands on them. What? Kind of cool. We're going back to New Zealand in a few weeks, I guess, so I'm going to probably bring these things back over with me so that I've got at least some nice Halloween-y things in my house. These are really good to use all year round. Like, that's why I and a lot of spooky black clad weirdos of my ilk uh, go Halloween shopping, is to get stuff 
that you use all year round. Not just to decorate your house for, for Halloween, but to have all the time. As it is, all my drinking glasses are skull shaped. All my mugs have bat wings on them, so these lovely black skeleton hand glasses are going to be used all year round. Also in the realm of beverage receptacles, I found this stack of mugs. I thought it was kind of cool. They're orange on the inside, which isn't my favorite color, but I guess that is quite Halloween-y. Pretty cool though, isn't it? As you can see, I haven't like unpacked it or whatever. This is all like cable tied on. I haven't got a pair of scissors. It's got the same skeleton on both sides. It's a stack of four mugs and they're like nice, good mugs. I love you TK Maxx. You have some really good Halloween stuff when you do have it. You should have it for longer. You should have more of it. It'll look really cool on like a bench top, I think again all year round. I say on my bench top we haven't got a house yet so my my imaginary bench top when I get it. This is something I've used already. I also found this set of ramekins. I've been in the market for some ramekins. I've been wanting them as like a small bowl to make my baby's breakfast porridge in for example and like small desserts and stuff like that. Little black ramekins with spider webs on the outside. So there's a pack of four. Oven, microwave and dishwasher safe. Good stuff. Again, I'll bring this back to New Zealand. I guess I'll have my family there, so I'll have people to like have over for dinner and stuff, so I can make like little individual puddings and desserts in my little spiderweb ramekins. I'm sure they will love me for that. Nobody in my family is like me. <laughs> also, from TK Maxx, this skull jar. It was really cheap. It was like four pounds. This great big black skull jar. I have no idea what I'm gonna put in it. Biscuits? I suppose I should put biscuits in it. I've never had a biscuit jar. I guess I now have a biscuit jar. Congratulations, you are now a biscuit jar. Not plastic, glass, big black skull. Cool. Lastly in kitchen things, I wasn't sure if I should get these, but I thought they might be quite cute for cooking and baking videos because I'm imagining this wonderful kitchen that I will have when we get to New Zealand where I can cook and bake and things. I thought for, for cooking videos especially, these might be quite cute. Again, I'm so sorry about this appalling lighting. Forgive me. Oh, black with skeleton hands and skulls on them. Four pack of mini spatulas. Food safe silicone won't discolor, crack, warp, or melt. So I guess they'll last a long time. People buy these sorts of things. Do they only expect to use them at Halloween? Or I mean, these are an all the time utensil, surely. Well, I'm going to use them all the time anyway. The last thing I found at TK Maxx, which is actually very nice, it's very, very soft, and I've already been burying Severine, my baby, underneath it quite a lot. Is this wonderful throw rug? Uh, mat, blanket, blanket. That's the word. It's a blanket. <laughs> it's so. It's so soft. Oh, I don't think I'll be able to take it back with me because it's quite big. And most of the kind of bedding and stuff they had there I thought was like a bit silly or like a bit tacky, you know? This was bordering on classy. I thought this was a very nice blanket. Throw a blanket like this is a great way to just like spook up your bed or couch, whatever, very, very easily. Two more things. I don't think these are very nice, but they were very cheap. I love it. It's like Heritage Lace brand, I guess, of like lace in America that I've got a couple of pieces. They do this beautiful lace with like bats and tassels and skulls and they're, they're really beautiful quality and they look lovely. I would love some more of those. My Heritage Lace, like Halloween stuff. But I found these cheap knockoffs. But Halloween luxury web tablecloth. Not very luxury, but it will look pretty cool, I think. I already have black tablecloth, so I figure it would add another layer of cool on the dining table. These sorts of things are really good if you have just like a dressing table or a cabinet, whatever kind of furniture. If you put some sort of like spooky lace over it, it just... I don't know, it just looks really nice. Easy, quick way to make something look a lot spookier. This one's just a great big spider web with spiders on it. Actually, it's not that bad. Not that bad. It's kind of cool. Ooh, it'll match the ramekins. I can serve my family little spooky puddings with my spider web ramekins and my spider web tablecloth. <laughs> There's also this one, which is a decorative table mat. I'm assuming it's more of like a runner type thing, like but in the picture, it's over a mantelpiece there. If you don't have a mantelpiece, these sorts of wee things are quite good for draping over any piece of furniture or over a window or whatever. Oh, cool. It's got little dangly spiders on it, this one. It's actually a little bit creepy. 
It's like a runner, a table runner. It would look cool on a coffee table if you had like a, a longish one. Actually not bad. Despite my dismay and horror at all the Christmas things already out, taking over the Halloween things before Halloween is, and it's not even till the end of next month, my word. Stop putting the Christmas things out so early, it's bloody ridiculous. Despite my dismay at the Christmas things, I do think what I managed to find were some quite nice things. Do you think I did all right? Do you think I did? Good. Eh? Did I do well for my first ever proper like Halloween shopping haul? If anybody who lives in the United Kingdom has any suggestions of anywhere that I could still go to find Halloween things that are nice, anywhere that I might not know about, please suggest them because I would love that. Because like I said, in New Zealand you can't really go Halloween shopping sadly unless you want a plastic cat that's gonna look cheap and nasty. Do you think I did okay? What was your favourite thing that I got? I like the jar, I like, actually I like everything. I like everything. And I'm looking forward to using these mugs. Have you found any really cool Halloween decorations where you are? God, I really, really want to do Halloween in the USA one day. It's like my dream, one of my dreams, is to just go Halloween shopping in the United States. It just looks like you over there have such amazing things. So much variety. Because you do Halloween there like really, really big, right? So I want, I want that. I want to experience that. I want to see like, decorated houses and gardens and I want to go and buy all the nice classy good Halloween decorations that you can leave in your house all year round. Someday it will happen I hope. Do let me know what you're planning to do for Halloween. If you are like having a party or you're going to one or if there's like a gig on or if you're gonna go trick-or-treating, if you're gonna dress up, if you're gonna stay at home and watch movies, what your plans might be. If you have not already done so please subscribe to my channel that would be very of you. As always, take care of yourself, be nice to each other, stay spooky, and I'll see you next time. Bye!